So we are on page 36 for lesson 18.2, in the, and we're going to be multiplying polynomials in this one. Um, in the video previous to this one, we were multiplying monomials, but um, we're going to be multiplying polynomials, and you can go ahead and read that explore section once again on your own. Um, but we're going to use tables to multiply these polynomials, and, and the reason why we're going to use these tables is number one, because I think um, I think using a table is far superior to what you might be familiar with in previous math classes as a FOIL method, um, but also because later on when we get into like um, the next credits, credit three and credit four, when you're um, factoring quadratics and dealing with uh, quadratics and trying to find the solutions to those things, um, uh, these uh, being able to multiply polynomials and, and go backwards using a table um, makes it much much easier in the long run. So uh, anyway. We'll, we'll jump into question one here. And we have uh, these two polynomials that we're multiplying, a minus six and two a plus three plus five. And so um, we're, gonna, we're gonna basically make a two by three uh, rectangle. And the way you can know that is because this first polynomial has two terms. This second polynomial has one, two, three terms. And so you're gonna make a two by three uh, rectangle basically and, and sure enough look down here we have the a minus six um, where the a is right here and the minus six is right there and the 2a 3b and the five are there and so after you have drawn out this two by three rectangle we're just going to basically multiply these like uh, you would find in a typical multiplication chart so we're going to multiply the a and the 2a first and if you do that, you get 2a squared. And then when you do the a and the 3b, right, we get 3ab. And then lastly, the a and the 5 will give us a 5a. And then we'll move on to the next row. We're going to multiply the negative 6 and the 2a, which will give us negative 12a. The negative 6 and the 3b will give us a negative 18b. And then lastly, the negative 6 and the 5 will give us a negative 30. So that's step one, uh, where we multiply everything in the table, and then step two, uh, or sorry, step one was creating a table, step two is multiplying everything in the table, and then step three, we're going to write out uh, everything in combined like terms. So let's start with this first term, 2a squared, and then um, it doesn't really matter which order we go in. Uh, let's go with a negative 12a, negative 12a, and then let's go with a 3ab plus 3ab. Uh, minus 18b we'll with that one, and then we'll go with plus 5a, and then lastly the minus 30. And then when we go ahead and do that, uh, let's let's combine like terms. So this one's on its own. Let's see, uh, 12a is right there. It's going to match up with that 5a, and then we have 3ab on its own. Uh, the minus 18b on its own, and lastly the minus 30. So let's go ahead and combine all those, or combine the ones that can be combined at least. So we have 2a squared, and then the negative 12a and positive 5a are going to combine to become minus 7a, and then we have the plus 3ab, and then we have the minus 18b, then we have the minus 30, and that is our uh, completed um, product there when we multiply those two polynomials. A bit long, um, and to be honest with you, most of the problems that we work with won't be this complicated or this long, so from here on out it should be a little bit easier. So uh, let's go ahead and try question number two, and we have, again, uh, a binomial multiplied with a trinomial here. So we're going to take this binomial 7x plus 2 and just write it on this side, 7x plus 2. And again, this is going to be a 2 by 3 uh, rectangle since we have two terms here and three terms <coughs> here. So 7x and 2, and then the x squared plus 5x plus 1 is going to show up right here, x squared plus 5x plus 1. So let's go and multiply these out. So we're going to do this 7x and the x squared, and you end up with 7x to the third power. And then 7x and 5x will give us 
35x squared. 7x times 1 will give us 7x. We'll move on to the next row. Maybe I'll change colors for this one. 2 and the x squared will give us 2x squared. And then the 2 and the 5x will give us 10x. And 2 and the 1 will give us 2. And then we're just going to start um, combining like terms in it. And one thing you'll notice when, when we start multiplying these polynomials is that the diagonals are usually the like terms. So let's go ahead and just write everything out. Let's write everything out in pink. 7x to the third power, which is this one right there. And then the 2x and the 35x squared. So that's going to be plus 37x squared. And then I'm going to combine the 10x and the 7x plus 17x. And then the last thing, last, lastly, the plus 2. So here is our completed um, expression for that one. And um, I'll zoom out here. And it looks like, oh, I guess we put this in the wrong place. Let's go ahead and put this in the right place and move this over here. There we go. So um, let's do a couple more examples on the next few pages here. So page 38. Um, here they want you to use the distributive property aka the FOIL method. Um, I don't really like the FOIL method just because there's so many arrows and um, this many moving parts tends to um, uh, it, it tends to I don't know uh, lead to more mistakes because you don't you know so many arrows and so many things to keep track of so um, if you want if you like the distributive problem or if you like the foil method feel free to go ahead and use it I am not going to do that and these are not the videos for you this is not the video you're looking for so um, let's go ahead and um, I'm just gonna keep drawing tables here and this is gonna be a two by two table by the way there's two terms in each polynomial here so I'm gonna go with <coughs> d8 no let's draw the rectangle first d8 and d minus 4 so d times d is d squared d times negative 4 is negative 4 d d times 8 is 8 d and 8 times negative 4 is negative 32 and then let's go ahead and combine like terms and by the way those diagonals are the like terms as well so d squared is the first term right there 8d minus 4d will give us positive 4d and then lastly minus 32 gives us um, gives us the uh, resulting product there now let me, let me you know I, I said I wasn't going to do it but let's just foil this to see what we get so I'm just rewriting this and I just want to do this just to show you that um, you're going to get the same thing. So um, d times d is d squared. d times negative 4 is negative 4d. 8 times d is plus 8d. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. And then when you combine those terms, you get d squared plus 4d minus 32. Now, it seems pretty easy enough, but once you get to, you know, trinomials multiplied by trinomials you're gonna have so many arrows going all over the place that it it just you know it's a bag of hurt that I don't like dealing with and I find that just boxes help keep the information a little bit more compartmentalized and easier to keep track of so uh, use whichever method you want I'm gonna continue on using um, using the box method just because I feel like it's uh, it just makes more sense to me and hopefully it does for you too so question number two going to make another 2 by 2 box. Since this has 2 terms times 2 terms, so x minus 5, x minus 5. So x times x is going to be x squared. x times negative 5 is going to be negative 5x. x times negative 5 here is going to be negative 5x. And then negative 5 times negative 5 is going to give me 25. And then uh, these diagonals are going to be the like terms, so let's write the first term x squared, and then negative uh, 5x plus negative 5x is going to give me negative 10x, and then lastly the 25 plus 25. There is my product. Okay, so question number three. Um, again, another 2 by 2. 
and 5b plus 1, b minus 2. So 5b times b is going to give me 5b squared. 5b times negative 2 is going to give me negative 10b. 1 times b is going to give me just b. And then 1 times negative 2 is going to be ne negative 2. Uh, and then 5b squared, that first term. And then we're going to combine these two. Minus 9b minus 2. There's my product. Question number 4. Another 2 by 2. You get 2m, negative 5, 3m, and 8. So 2m times 3m is going to give me 6m squared, since the 2 and the 3 multiply to 6. And we have m times m, which is 2m's, equals m squared. Uh, 2m times 8 is going to give me 16m. Negative 5 times 3m is going to give me negative 15m. And then negative 5 times 8 is going to give me negative 40. Okay, so let's write this first term, 6m squared. Combine those diagonals there. It's going to be plus just 1m since 16 minus 15 gives me 1. And then the minus 40. Okay, um, we'll keep on going with this. A couple more pages. So the next one, um, here we have a 2 by 3. And again, uh, the the bigger your polynomials, the more arrows you're gonna have, and, and just man, it just it just looks complicated. And I, I kind of don't want to deal with that. So again, more boxes. This one's gonna be a two by three uh, box since we have two terms being multiplied by three terms. Okay, so two by three. So let's do three x and one x cubed. 4x squared minus 7. Okay, so 3x times x to the third power is 3x to the fourth power. 3x times 4x squared is going to be 12x to the third power. 3x times negative 7 is going to give me negative 21x. 1 times x to the third power, x to the third power. 1 times 4x squared is just 4x squared. 1 times negative 7 is just negative 7. And then Let's write out the terms. First term is 3x to the fourth power, right there. And then we're going to combine these two, plus 13x to the third power. Then we're going to combine these two. So 4 minus 21 is going to give me minus 17x. And then lastly, the negative 7, negative 7. So here is my completed product there. OK, so. Oh wait, you know what I just noticed? I made a huge, huge error. Um, the diagonals here, oops, the, let me change the color. Diagonals here don't actually work. Did you notice that this one is x squared and this one is just a regular x? So we need to fix our error here. Let's back this up just a little bit. Um, so we have this on its own, so plus 4x squared. Then we got this, minus 21x. And then lastly, the minus 7. So this is the actual correct answer. OK, I'm just double checking this just to make sure. And sure enough, yep, I think that's the right answer. Um, OK, question number two. Let's try this again. Hopefully, we won't make the same errors. This is going to be another 2 by 3. So let's go uh, 2 by 3 here. 2 by 3. So 2x minus 5. 4x squared minus 3x plus 1. 2x times 4x squared is going to be 8x to the third power. 2x times minus 3x is going to give me negative 6x squared. 2x and 1 is just 2x. Negative 5 and 4x squared is going to be negative 20x squared. Negative 5 and negative 3x is going to be 15x. Positive 15x, that is. Negative 5 times 1 is going to be me negative 5. OK. Let's take a look at this and just make sure here. Um, 
this is on its own 8x to the third power um, these are like terms so this is going to combine to give me negative 26x squared this is also like terms they have a uh, uh, one degree x for both of those so 15 plus 12 gives me 17x and then lastly the minus 5 and that is our completed product okay and on the next couple pages or the next page we're gonna attach a context to these so this is the last thing we'll do for these videos here we have a uh, context Zoe babysat for this many hours yesterday she earned this much money per hour how much did she earn if x equals 12 well if we multiply those and then plug in uh, 12 for x in the resulting polynomial uh, <coughs> we'll figure out how much money she made so let's go ahead and do that so this is going to be x minus 8 times x minus 2 so again we're going to use um, the box method here x minus 8 and x minus 2 so let's multiply these out x and x are going to give me x squared x and negative 2 are going to give me negative 2x negative 8 x negative 8 and x are going to give me negative 8x and negative 8 times negative 2 will give us positive 16 okay let's, so let's write out the resulting polynomial we have x squared and then we have negative 10x and then lastly 16 and then we're going to plug in 12 plug in 12 for x so 12 squared minus 10 times 12 plus 16 144 minus 120 oh uh, not equals what am i doing plus 16 and so let's see 24 plus 16 this is going to give us 40 right i think yeah equals 40 so she makes 40 dollars uh, for babysitting okay all right so this is a rectangular garden that is a length of 15 x feet and a width of 13 uh, no sorry 30 x plus 5 feet find the area of the garden if x equals 3 feet so we're going to multiply those right so if we were to just draw this first of all um, there's a rectangular garden has a length of 15 x and a width of 3x plus 5 and again area is length times width so we're multiplying 15x and 3x plus 5 basically and this one is going to be a what a 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 um, rectangle so this is just 15x this is going to be 3x and 5 and let's go ahead and multiply this out 15x times 3x are going to give us 45x squared 15x and 5 are going to give us what is that 75x <coughs> so that is our resulting polynomial there are so 45x squared plus 75x and then we're going to plug in 3 for x okay so 45 times 3 squared plus 75 times 3 and then let's see uh, let's see, 45 times 9 plus uh, 75 times 3 is 225. And then 45 times 9 gives us what? 405 plus 220. Ooh, 25 gives us 630. So, um, the garden has an area of 630 square feet.